Hey everybody, John here from JDiz Fishing. We are at the shop and we're going to do a little rigging today. And what we're going to be rigging is going to be the Jackson Kayaks Kusa FD, that's Flex Drive, FD for Flex Drive. So that's the Kusa FD and what are we doing? Uh, we're installing the Boondocks landing gear system. Uh, with this boat, you've got a rudder back here. So you want to be able to get in and out of the water without really tearing that up too much. At least I don't. And uh, so I decided to install the landing gear from Boondocks and uh, it's a great unit. So let's get to it and we'll show you where we're at. I've already kind of started, but I'll walk you through uh, the other side, setting that up and getting that all mounted. So when you first get your boondocks landing gear, make sure that you uh, open up the package, make sure th everything is in there. Make sure you go through, make sure you got all the pieces and parts before you get started. Uh, what you're gonna need also is a tape measure, a Sharpie, a four millimeter uh, Allen key, and you're gonna need a couple of, well, for me, the way I'm doing it, you're gonna need a couple uh, drill bits. You're gonna need a seven thirty seconds. Basically, I'm gonna build a, be drilling a pilot hole uh, make sure I get everything in the right location. And then for the actual bolts, these big guys here, you need a uh, 5 16 uh, drill bit to get uh, the hole large enough for that. So what I've done, uh, one of the things that Boondocks has in their system is area for two set screws. You've got one here and one here. And you'll notice I only have one set screw in here. And the reason for that is uh, it comes with two bars. It comes with this longer bar, and it also comes with this shorter bar. Now the width that I have on the, uh, that is on the uh, Kusa FD is a little bit uh, longer than like the standard, or a little bit wider than the standard uh, kayak that the Boondocks landing gear was made for. That being said, I went ahead and I'm gonna mount it right here behind the seat and you'll see there's uh, some uh, nut plates already molded into the boat here for, uh, for mounting uh, accessories. So what I've gone ahead and done is uh, measured uh, about 16 different times and figured out exactly where I wanted these to be. I wanted to leave this gear track here open and accessible. So what we ended up doing was measuring and came up with a measurement of 30 inches right here and that's measured there which only gave me enough room for one set screw so what I ended up doing was calling the folks over at uh, boondocks and just to make sure that I was going to be okay just using one set screw on the uh, the center rod there and they said not a problem just make sure you secure it and make sure it's good and tight and uh, you should be good to go without any issues because there's really not going to be much of a twisting load or anything like that on that on the uh, on the unit once it's all installed. So let's get to it. I've already drilled one of the nut plate holes or uh, mounting areas and now I've already marked the other side and we'll go through and I'll show you how I make sure I get a precise uh, drill into that into the boat because you don't want to be drilling holes in your boat unless you know exactly where they're going. All right so now I need to uh, drill some holes in my boat in the Kusa FD. Uh, what you do the boondocks the way it's uh, designed is uh, it needs to have a huge stainless steel nut plate because it's going to be carrying a lot of weight on the boat. Uh, so I've already laid everything out. I showed you that earlier. Uh, got the holes ready to be drilled. I've got everything marked. Uh, I've got enough room around uh, these nut plates that are molded into the boat to where this plate will sit flush up underneath inside the boat. And of course the Kusa SD has a nice hatch in the back so you can gain access. Uh, what I'll show you how I do it is I grab a drill motor with a 7 seconds drill bit, which will uh, give me enough room there. And first thing you do is just drill one hole. And so I don't booger up the threads, I just kind of use the drill at first to make a mark. And then get the drill bit back into that hole and drill down. 
Now, of course, obviously that's too small for that, so that's why I'm gonna change drill bits and go to the 5 16th drill bit. Now, I've only drilled one hole so far, so it's a pilot hole, so ease that down in there, and it works really easy. Now you'll see that the uh, bolt, the mounting bolt, will actually slide through just fine. Now to make sure I get the second hole drilled into the correct spot, I'll take one of the bolts and I'll run it through. You don't have to make it tight or anything like that, just run it through so it looks like that. Drop that down. And now I can see where the other mark is right there. And just to be sure, I want to make sure that, you know, that this spacing is, is just perfect, you know, so the, uh, the landing gear will mount correctly. And I need to go back to the other drill bit. Again, I'm not going to drill all the way through, but I want to make sure that's centered in the hole and that the plate is lined up correctly, right where I want it. Just drill enough to get a little bit of a mark there. Come back, get that. Again, we're going to switch out and go back to just to double check make sure that hole is right where you want it so now that I know that that's where I want it we'll go back in here and it looks like we're gonna be good all right so now we need to install the nut plate inside the boat and there's a few ways to do that you can use rigging bullets but I don't know if they make one big enough for that 5 16 bolt uh, so what I'm doing is a quick, uh, quick little uh, hack using paracord. So I've got a length of paracord. What I'm going to do is drop it down into the hole, trying to get it to angle a little back, a little bit back towards the back of the boat. So that should be enough. Now I'm going to reach inside the boat and uh, grab that in. And you'll see here it comes. That was a piece of cake. Now. Take the other end. It helps if it's finished in too. That way you can kind of bend it a little bit and kind of get it running back. Feet a length in there. And see if I can grab that in. And so after a couple tries, I was able to get it. it wasn't too difficult. So now what you've got is you got this end here with two lengths running out the back of the hatch, which are right here. So what we're gonna do is take the nut plate, we're gonna put it onto here. Now you wanna make sure that the lines are not crossed over and that they're clear, so when you pull the nut plate up, it's gonna actually lay up flush against the, the gunnel inside the boat. So you take one end through here, just uh, Little knot there, you see it won't pull through. Take the other end, make sure they're not twisted over each other. That's the biggest thing, make sure they're not twisted over each other. And tie that one. So now I've got both ends secured here. Now I'm just gonna pull this. Till it comes up flush. And if you look down in there, you can see that I indeed have the nut plate there. What you can also do is see if the holes are lined up. It looks like these are pretty good, and I should be able to bolt it down fairly easily. So, all right, so I've got one side already bolted in. You'll see that I've got the washers on the top side, the uh, landing gears secure it's still a little loose so it still slides back and forth but the nut plate is secured underneath so now i'll show you how i did that over on this side so what you're going to need for this is a pair of scissors you drop the plate all the way down leave yourself oh about a foot or so you'll snip here snip there discard that now, you want to take your rope, 
your paracord, run them up through here, both of them. And you can pull your plate up. Now the way this works, you'll see I can hold pressure on this side and the plate still stays over here. So what I'm going to do is just hold this one up here. And once you do this, you got to make sure you hold enough pressure on that so that plate stays up. So drop this down. That's completely through. Take a bolt and a washer. Drop it down through the hole. Gently get it started. Get it down finger tight. And now you'll see you can release the tension on this one and the nut plate will stay right where, where you want it because you've got it finger tight over here. So again, drop this down. And finger tighten this one down. And there you go, nut plates are installed. All right, so we've got the nut plates in. I haven't quite tightened them down yet. I just wanted to make sure that everything was uh, secured and in a good location. Uh, what I want to do now is make sure I've got everything lined up where I need it to be on both sides. I've got the gear track. It's running right next to the gear track right there, so we're looking good there. And the spacing looks good. And we're all set. And then just tighten them down with those nut plates on there. It spreads the load out over that gunnel and the plastic. It's basically sandwiched the plastic in between two nice metal pieces so you're not going to get any twisting. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to crank down on them too hard. All right, so once you've got everything located uh, where you need it to be and everything's tightened down, what I'll do is I'll go back and I will remove one bolt at a time and I will secure it with uh, Marine Goop to make sure I get a good seal and I don't get any water in the boat. Alright, so there you have it. I installed the Boondocks landing gear system on the Kusa FD. Uh, it turned out pretty good. It was really easy to do. Uh, literally, it took me, from the time I started, uh, probably about an hour. And that's with doing some filming and stuff like that. So there you have it. It's the uh, Boondocks landing gear system installed on the Kusa FD. Can't wait to get this bad boy out in the water. Appreciate you watching this video. I hope the, what I showed you will help you with your install, whether it's on a Kusa or any other boat that you've got. Uh, the landing gear makes getting in and out of the water super, super easy. So again, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out uh, our other videos on our YouTube channel and also on Facebook. Check us out there and also on our website. Uh, we've always got stuff going on and uh, love chatting with you guys. Leave some comments down below and please subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.